Hello everybody, uh, welcome back to Lemons and Deal. We just passed the festive period and um, I hope everybody enjoyed it and had a very good and happy Christmas as well as New Year's Eve. I was thinking for today's video to do a very uh, easy recipe and we're gonna go uh, with less calories and I'm sure my friends from Romania enjoy that pork for Christmas. But today I'm gonna cook for you a courgette soup with some toasted steeds and walnuts and a bit of creme fraiche and as well we're gonna do some nice homemade croutons. First thing we're gonna start with the croutons. I just have a piece of bread. Uh, you can use the leftover bread, it's but better. We just give him some uh, this kind of shapes. As you prefer, you can do it bigger, you can do it uh, smaller. But I prefer this size, to be honest with you. And we're gonna add a little bit of garlic. We're just gonna take a garlic loaf. Just roughly chop the garlic. Doesn't have to be any precise size. As well, we're gonna drop a bit of thyme and as well a bit of uh, rosemary. And after we do all of this, we're just gonna take a bit of olive oil, we're just gonna drizzle the croutons and we're gonna give a nice mixture to them. We're just gonna try to soak all the oil in the bread. So, we already uh, prepped the croutons, we're just gonna give them some time to soak all the flavor in them. And for the soup, I'm gonna need a red onion or white onion or a couple of shallots. We're gonna finely chop this onion. We finish with this uh, chopping the onion. Just gonna put all the onion in the bowl. I'm gonna use just two courgettes. One is smaller than another, but uh, it doesn't matter. We're just gonna we're just gonna slice these courgettes, not so thick. So guys, we chop the courgettes and now we can start preparing the soup. We're just gonna turn on the gas. We have a, a soup pot over here. This is too big, you can use a smaller one. I'm just gonna put some olive oil. And we're just gonna add the onions first. Fry the onion for one minute and you can add the courgettes after that. And after you add the courgettes, drop a bit more olive oil in it. So guys, our courgettes are nicely roasted now. I'm gonna add them um, half a litre chicken stock and half a liter water but if you want to do it like a vegetarian you can add uh, straight one liter water or you can add like uh, half veg stock and a half a liter so it's up to you guys however you want to blend the soup so guys I added half a liter chicken stock and I'm gonna add a half a liter water and I'm just gonna bring it up to boil and I'm gonna reduce it for like 10-15 minutes and after that we're gonna blend the soup and we're gonna do it in a really nice creamy soup. So while we wait for the soup to bring up to the boil, we can do the croutons. So they're already marinated and soaked in olive oil and thyme and garlic. I'm just gonna have a little pan over here. I'm just gonna turn on the gas. And I'm just gonna drop them. I'm just gonna cook these croutons for about five minutes. 
you just prefer it, uh, to do it in a pan, in the same way you can read in your one, so it's uh, get the same quality basically. But uh, I have a very small portion of crouton, so it's no need to bring up the old stove and the oven. In practice, just for uh, some croutons, just give them a nice roast. So guys, from when it starts to boil, you just boil it for 10 minutes and they are ready to be blended. So guys, as you can see our croutons are ready. I'm just going to remove them in a, on a plate with the, with the tissue on it to soak the, the oil boil that it's uh, left. I'm just going to leave them to rest over there. So we reduced the soup uh, a bit. Now uh, I'm going to turn off the gas uh, and we're going to blend it to get that creamy liquid that everybody's waiting for it. I haven't done too much, it's like a couple of portions over here. So I'm just gonna try to make it from in one go. So guys, just give them a, a very slow blend at the beginning and after that we can carry on with spinning it. And I do have uh, here a smaller pot for the strainer. I'm just going to go to the strainer. Now we almost have the final product, we're just going to turn the gas on, just put it in a very very low heat, just try to reduce a bit more the soup, it's going to get a bit more more thick, yeah, so now we're going to add a bit of thickness, and just leave it here, and in the meantime we're going to organize our seeds with some, uh, with some walnuts, we're going to do a nice um, kind of finish of the soup. So I have here a mixture of um, sunflower seeds, with pumpkin seeds and uh, walnuts, just gonna add it in a pan, turn on the gas, you don't need to do too much of them, just, just a few minutes to get a bit roasted, to get a bit burned, to have that nice smell of roasted seeds. So guys, our soup is ready, we're just gonna add some seasoning now, it's, um, it's up to you how you want it to taste. for a second. The seeds as you can see are toasting, very nice. So guys, we're gonna take another plate. Take our seeds out. So we're gonna put the soup very gently. I guess we can add a bit of creme fraiche. I'll try to, to scoop our rocher. And we can add some seeds. Walnuts. As well, we're gonna cut a bit of chive. So everybody, uh, this is my courgette soup with toasted seeds and walnuts, a bit of chives and cream fresh, as well as some uh, garlic and rosemary croutons. Uh, you can serve the crudos inside if you wish, uh, I prefer not to. As you can see, very easy recipe, it takes around half an hour for three, four portions of soup, so everybody in your family can enjoy it in this January. Thank you very much for watching and I hope I'll see you soon.